Hello everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Faraz Ahmed. Uh, I'm one of the lecturers in the department uh, and, and I sort of lead on the admissions to your side for a PhD in public health. Um, I'll give you a little bit of information about this program. Just, just to sort of recap, we've, all, we've already covered this element that the division sort of produces one of the most sort of highest number of PhD. But at the same time, it, it sort of hopes to sort of engage with the international level of research that we do with our teaching and our PhD students uh, combined together. So, so, so in, in essence, uh, we do quite a lot of research and our research students are very much sort of part of our group. And as, as sort of cited Dr. Uh, Professor Walsh's PowerPoint earlier onwards, um, a lot of the uh, a lot of this health centre uh, and groups, research groups that we have are also sort of engaging with public health in particular, the Center for Health Inequalities. So I won't cover that in detail, but I will cover a little bit about the kind of work that we do in research. Uh, so, so one of the focus areas is that we look at health inequalities in particular. So we're very much interested in so sort of seeing what are the basis for sort of different population groups or different sort of uh, differences in health outcomes as well as provision of health in particular. And just to sort of highlight this element of it, that we're, we're interested in not just in the UK context, but, but also sort of in the global public health context as well. Uh, a lot of our work is kind of, sort of worked with sort of the World Health Organization, as, as well as sort of our students who come from those backgrounds themselves as well. So, so, so do feel free to sort of bring in your individual specific topics to, to, to the PhD in public health. But be mindful that we do tend to sort of focus predominantly on so every specific topic might have a dimension that you want to bring in with regards to uh, equity as well as social determinants of health. Uh, just to give you an example, we, we do work with chronic illness and health impacts in employment. Uh, some of our colleagues have kind of worked into sort of areas of looking at sort of exploring barriers and facilitators to retain, retaining job in particular conditions such as musculoskeletal disorders and so on. Uh, equally, we you know we look at sort of particular areas which 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 are sort of might be sort of considered. Uh, seldom research in terms of sort of looking at young men and their risks, so looking at the ideology and aspects and concepts of masculinity and, and, and how that relates to sort of health and risk taking. Um, we, we have it, research groups and individuals in, in the team which have kind of worked in primary care health services. I myself have kind of worked in uh, primary care in particular, looking at some international health, uh, but as well as sort of in the UK context, looking at patient experience and doctor patient. In particular, and at the at the sort of most of our work, we try to sort of do the core research on public health involvement. One of the key elements what we want to encourage our students to sort of think about it: how do you engage the key stakeholders? Well, uh, and, and lastly, so sort of we, we're reviewing an emerging sort of uh, number of students as well as academic in this area, looking at ethnicity, culture, and health. Uh, so some of you might be sort of interested in in that area as well, uh, looking at sort of. Uh, held to the lens of culture as well, as well as sort of how different groups of population might sort of see and, and result in terms of health outcomes. So, so this is just sort of sort of a, a word cloud of the kind of work that we do and, 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 and sort of just to give you emphasize the, you know, we, we do different topics, we do intellectual disabilities, uh, as, as well as sort of, you know, more communicable diseases, including COVID, that's more sort of recent emerging thing. As you can see from the key, key bits that are coming up, public health, health inequality, international health, inequality in particular elements that really does stand out in our research. If you are thinking about sort of those aspects, you will very much well consult us because we, we could sort of uh, look through your project and sort of identify elements where there are shared relationships between our interests as well as sort of what your PhD project. Um, just to give you a quick background of our students, uh, predominantly they, they can be sort of medical doctors, nurses and academics, but, but equally they can come from background in policy makers as well as managers, pharmacists, uh, and even broadly sort of in terms of lawyers and publishers. But one of the key things that, sort of diff that kind of highlights their background is that they come from sort of interest in public health and they've had experience of working in the health sector in, in particular. So if you are interested in sort of being involved with delivery of public health services and you work in public health uh, in, in, in one form or another, we'll be very happy to sort of work with you. Also, uh, just to highlight again, that it sort of relates to international setting as well as the UK setting. Don't feel that you need to have the UK public health background within that. 
and, and as has been already noted earlier on, there's a lot of the programs that are run in the department in distance learning, uh, which is the case with Salutwezi. Oh. Uh, and we hope by doing this public health course, it will help you in terms of advancing your career, but also in terms of the skills that you need to sort of develop in, in terms of research methodology. One of the unique features of this blended learning program is that, that the first two years are actually taught elements and a focus on developing your research skills. This is very important when you think about public health in particular, especially if you're coming from a background which is very clinical or, or, or a practitioner background. Having that opportunity to sort of engage with that foundational level sort of uh, development with that research methodology as well as, uh, you know, directly related to your research topic. That's very important. And, and we hope that if you are interested and you do join us, you'd find that useful going forward. So it's, it's again about developing advanced skills in research design, practice and dissemination, about improving your scholarship and presenting your arguments. Um, give you a brief. The program is a part-time program. Uh, it runs from four years to seven years. On average, we find most of our students and the work commitments and 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 uh, and the educational commitments. It can take somewhere between sort of five years or there as as an average. Uh, but but it's completely up to you in terms of how you want to go go about it. But just just be that you know engagement uh, with the program is very important. If you wish to go faster or slower. Um, as I noted earlier, it's a two-part program. So the first element, part element, and year three onwards, once you move into research phase, you kind of engage with your supervisors and kind of work clearly on your research topic. But equally, the thought phase, though it's sort of modules, uh, six modules in particular, CEO kind of had a very nice sort of uh, infographics there, which kind of represented that earlier onwards. So I won't repeat it, but I will just sort of highlight that. Uh, there are six modules, and, and it's sort of geared towards sort of developing your research methodology, and you know what kind of research you want to do, systematic review, and it kind of hopes to focus on research proposal in particular. The way teaching takes place again is blended learning online, so you'll have access to modules online uh, to, to, through our sort of forum, which is a Moodle element, uh, which is a system way where you can sort of engage with your peers as well as uh, your colleagues and, and the conveners of the module, and it's done predominantly online. Uh, there are elements of sort of uh, vision as well as teaching to meet um, uh, MS Teams and sort of online communication where you can kind of join us face-to-face uh, -face in, in one-to-one -one conversation. Equally, you know, that there are elements of research training, uh, that there are sort of uh, training seminars, including, you know, uh, you'll be, if you join us in the public health program, you'll be part of the health inequalities research group. There are sort of seminars that are attached to that as well. Uh, and most of our students sort of do go on to sort of go to conferences to present their work uh, in the UK, but are equally in overseas and in national forums as well. Um, lastly, I left this slide in because I felt a lot of there were a lot of questions about entry requirements. Uh, just to sort of reiterate the point, similar to a lot of the other modules, uh, the requirement for this is sort of two uh, two one honours. Uh, at, at the UK level, but, but but if you do want to sort of check whether that is uh, Equivalent do feel please do feel free to sort of engage with the admissions team, but also it's available online as well. There is a list, uh, and, I, and I hope Ben will sort of share uh, a lot of these uh, PowerPoints, and there is a link where you can check whether it's available. If you can't find your qualification, please sort of uh, to send us an email and, and, and admission side of it. And so in, in terms of uh, additional requirements, we don't ask for a full proposal, but we do want a 500-word proposal. Uh, which kind of highlights what is the research topic, why you're interested. It would be really good if you can sort of engage with what kind of research we would do. I've kind of presented some of the brief outline of what, what we do, but do go on the website and kind of sort of link it with that. Uh, it isn't a full full proposal, so, so, so do feel free to engage. And at the moment, it, admissions are open, so have time till July, apply through it, uh, but you'll get the details, I'm sure, at the end of the element. In terms of English requirement, there is an IELTS requirement, but but that's not the only. That's one of the options. You you can indeed sort of uh, provide other elements which might be English language qualifications. And we do, as Ben highlighted in the chats earlier, well, we do have a, a pre-sessional English language course that you might be interested in sort of applying as well, which you can take before the module uh, rather than complete one. Uh, Great. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, uh, and, and I'm sure you'll have a lot of questions. We look forward to one. Thank you.